Piece of fucking shit. Well, guys, it's happened to all of us. We pissed off a driver, you know, sometime for, for reason, sometime for no reason. And he, you, as you park your car, he's jumping off the car and want to beat you up. There are few stages. If you know that this guy is about to hurt you and you see him coming off the car. So let's say I'm walking off my, I want to leave my car and walk around here and I see him leaving the car. As he put the leg down, I'm going to close the leg down to here. That for itself can create a lot of damage. So what you do is, as soon that the leg is just touching the floor, now you close the door on the leg. And of course you flee, you run as fast as you can. You don't want to get in trouble. If you are late and he's getting off the car, and Vincenzo, you're going to be here now learning the lesson. He's off the car, he's coming out, and this is very common. You see people holding your shirt, start shaking you, and he look scary, moving you and so on. His arms about the size of your legs, and now you have to work. So one of the easier things is use the simple techniques that always work. You don't have to be strong for that. You take cup your hand and go here. This, when I did that, I just stopped. But when you cup your hand and you go with both hands open and close with full force, you see, I'm creating a vacuum that what happened is going to disturb the liquid between his ears and immediately create a situation that's going to lose balance. So this kind of motion, if I do it fast and strong, he can lose his hearing. He's also going to be in a situation that he's going to lose balance. So here, you see I'm cupping, bang. Remember, open your armpit, take momentum and come back. Yeah. Like an orchestra, you know. So this is one. Second, even much simpler, use our cat strikes. Cat strike is easy. It could be the strongest man on earth. All I do, okay? So you throw fingers to his eyes, every person will let go. What you do, run, no problem. You want to survive. Okay, one more time. This is a second option. Okay, so let's do those two first and then I show you some other techniques. Ready? Yeah. As soon as he holds you, Go. Okay? But, but, but the moment he put his hand on you, you have the right to defend yourself. Yeah. Okay? And now the second. Go. That by itself can solve the problem. Another great technique that you can do is use everything you can do to take him out of balance. And if you take him out of balance, you can do whatever you want. Regardless of his strengths, any person will go off balance if you pull this part to here. So what you do, you cross your hand, and for the demonstration, he's going to take his arm down so you can see. I'm bringing my right hand to his right hand and going underneath. I don't place my hand right away on his elbow. I'm taking a few inches away and come and placing two or three fingers in here. As I do so and I pull, I also move with my body. I do this motion and move with my body here. So I'm actually locking his elbow. That does not require strength. If I'm going to stand here and do that, I will you have to use a lot of strength. But as soon as he starts to bend, I'm placing my leg behind him and now I'm locking him. Together with this force, what you have to do, as soon as you do that, you have two options. Either wrapping your hand around his head, grabbing the nose, or his eye, or coming underneath. If you are shorter than him, you can come from here and push from here with a blade of your hand. So let's look at the two options. First of all, you understand this motion here, but you will be able to do it with a step. So let's start with that, and then I will break it down to the other part for you. What you need to do is few inches away from the elbow before you pull. 
One and two. Lovely. In reality, nobody holds you this way. It's more like here because Pulling. you have much more power this way and most of the people will do that, which means that they're basically bending their elbow already. All you have to do is just redirect the elbow. So do it again this time. See what happened now. Perfect. Now, we want to take him off balance. The best thing to do is use his nose. If you move the nose, you move the body. So you put a fingers here and now don't pull the head to here, pull it up and around. Then you take him off balance. Obviously, if you stick to finger here, you can do that. But there is no need, you can do it everything from the nose, here and turn. When he's back to you, there is a ton of different ways. We can continue rolling him to the floor if I do a strong motion, and we'll do it one time on the floor. So I'm going to do it here, here, and he's rolling. The car is here, we can use the car to our advantage. So I'm going to do this motion and take him to the car. Obviously, if you feel that he's a big threat, you can smash his head or simply escape from the place. Again, if he's much taller than you, instead of wrapping your hand from here, you're coming from the beginning underneath, from the front, and blade your hand and push this direction. And you're going to find that you can do it from this way. Okay, let's look at that. And still, you have the same force. Let's try the first one around. Lovely. Now, when you do pull his head, move your leg back. All right. You feel the force? You feel it. And one more time. Lovely. Now, you pull so much, it will turn in 360 degrees. Yeah. Of course, so when he's back to you, push him to the car. That's better. When you push into the car, the best is to do is to close the gap between you and him. So there will be no space. I'm here, I'm here, I'm closing with the body. So if I'm pushing with the body, I don't have to use so much of my triceps to push. And let's try to put the hands from the front now. Let's assume that Elon is 6'2". <laughs> what do you wish? <laughs> All right. Okay, now you cup your hand, you lose a lot of power. Blade. If you do that, you lose a lot of power. Keep the blade and you're going to get so much more power. So. Lovely. Okay, let's look at Vicenzo now doing it in reality. And we're going to take you now to back to the scene when you have a little bit more CKM knowledge. And let's look how he's doing it. I'll 